Okay, the way of approaching this question is to treat these as two different triangles. And I'm going to highlight the two triangles. So we've got this triangle here, so the smaller triangle, and we've got this larger triangle here. Okay, now if we look at the angles, this angle is shared between both the triangles, so it's going to be equal. The bottom left one is 90 degrees. Um, so also we know that these two lines here are parallel and if we look at the top left one well because they're parallel they are all going to be equal because of um, corresponding angles or so F angles so if you've got two triangles with exactly the same um, angles then one of them is going to be an enlargement of the other so therefore the two triangles are similar now the way of approaching this question is to, to draw the two triangles down separately and I'm going to try and find some room. I'll try and do it down here. And I'm going to do uh, the larger triangle. And then I'm going to do the smaller triangle. Let's just sort these out. Okay. So the smaller triangle has seven centimeters. And because the ends are the same, I'm just going to write the numbers. And the base of the smaller triangle is R. But the base of the bigger triangle, and this is really common to write down 14, it's not 14, it goes 14 here, and then it goes R for the rest of it. So in total, it's 14 plus R. Okay, now, with all enlargements, there is a scale factor, and the scale factor is what you do to all of the smaller lengths to get to the bigger length. So I'm going to work out the scale factor. And it's big length over small length. And so the two corresponding lengths we have in this question are the 7 and the 21. So we're going to do 21 over 7, which is 3. Okay, that means that we're going to times everything. So we're going to times this by 3 to get to that. But it will also mean we're going to times this by 3 to get to that. So <laughs> this is where it gets a bit complicated. So the larger length um, of, the, of the shape is going to be 3 lots of R. Okay? Because we times R by 3 to get to it. But we also know it is 14 plus R. And this just gives us a little equation to solve. So we're going to take away r from both sides. So 2r equals 14. And then we're going to divide by 2 both sides. r equals 7. And you could have got this answer through just trial and improvement. Um, the other way you could think about it is the new length is going to be 3 lots of r. So if we have a look at that an R there and an R there, okay, and it's not drawn to scale, so it's going to be three lots of R, and so you can see the 14 here has to be divided into two R's, so it'd be seven and seven. Um, there are other ways of doing this, but I think this is the most mathematically sound way of doing it, is by writing an equation, but if you found that answer for a different method, please continue using that method.